friends, it's Melissa here, and I'm just stopping in at the store to pick up a hala and a dessert for joining a friend of mine tonight who just moved into her new house. And this got me thinking about housewarming gifts and hostess gifts, and it's a topic that's really special to me because I have two friends this summer who have moved into new homes. And so for both of these friends, I'm making plans, setting dates on the schedule to come see their new houses, and I know that it's something that's really special and also emotional for them. I've also moved into a new house there were some gifts that I received and really loved and then there were a lot of gifts that I wish I had received and I didn't receive so I wanted to talk about those ideas with you today obviously you know me I am very budget-minded and I know how expensive it is to move so the first item on my list is cash I think that cash is not a tacky gift and it is a welcome gift to most people they've probably just spent a lot of money either purchasing a home or moving and all of the expenses that come along with that. So a little extra cash I think is a very thoughtful housewarming gift. You can give a gift card to their new local supermarket. You can look it up on the map, what's close to them, or to a restaurant that's in their new neighborhood. And I think that those are two very nice gifts, especially if you maybe don't feel comfortable giving cash proper. Another gift that I did receive as a housewarming gift that I think is so, so nice is the gift of paying a bill for someone. This is something that's a little bit more personal, so it might be for like a close family member or a best friend that you do this, but my mother gifted me the services of a picture hanger because when I moved into our new house, we had a million pictures and mirrors and heavy things and difficult things to hang, arrangements that someone with a level and a, and a tape measure could do a lot better than I could. I think it was a couple hundred dollars for like an art services person to come to our house for half a day and hang everything. Along the lines of of more budget friendly but emotional and satisfying gifts breaking bread with someone in their new home coming over bringing dinner bringing a loaf of delicious bread and a bottle of wine I vividly remember being in my first apartment in New York and breaking bread with close friends for a celebratory dinner and that was so so special and it's a memory that I still have you know over a decade later so just a simple symbolic gift like a bottle of wine and a car or something that you've baked could be very meaningful for someone who's moved into their own place. Next up, houseplants. I remember moving into my new house and there were certain things that I was missing. Houseplants is one, you can buy a plant, get one at the market, or give a cutting of your own. I'm currently propagating some plants. Mother-in-law's tongue is really hard to kill and very easy to divide. So something like that could be no cost and a very welcome gift. I also found that I needed more doormats. So you could gift a doormat if you know your friend's taste. You could gift a doormat with their initial on it for their front door. I personally really love this certain kind of doormat through L.L. Bean that's like um, cuts down on tracking in of dirt and it comes in all different dimensions and all different colors. So for my new friends who just bought a home, I'm planning to gift them a little bit of money and then the recommendation of that doormat. And they obviously can use the money for whatever they like. Not that doormats are so expensive, but when you move into a bigger house and you need more of something, those little things really add up. I had a lot of doors with no doormats for a very long time and I wish some people had gifted me doormats. Other things that you need if you move into a house for the first time are hoses and hose pots, flower pots. Maybe you want to be planting in your garden but your budget is really lean so you could gift someone cuttings or bulbs or rhizomes from your yard. You could gift a gift card to the local nursery. I know that those kinds of things really make a home feel like home and those would be really welcome gifts. They're definitely gifts that I wish that I had received. Moving into your own place, whether it's under happy circumstances or difficult circumstances like a separation, no matter what, it is very emotional and it is very expensive. So most of all, I would say that the thing that warmed my heart was people acknowledging that we would bought a new home. Your gift could be as simple as offering to go over to your new friend's place and taking their picture in front of their new place. I have a picture of us when I was pregnant with my youngest and we had our 
oldest was a toddler just starting school. And that picture of us in front of our new home is so, so special. You can gift a frame, have it printed for them, do what you can, but it doesn't have to cost a lot of money. I think that the act of acknowledging this new milestone in your friend's life is the most important thing of all. Thanks you guys for watching. Leave your ideas down below. I have a lot to learn from you all. You have great ideas. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I hope you'll subscribe if you're new to my channel. I really welcome you and I cherish the time that you've spent being here. Thank you so much and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.